Brian, when it comes to hard money lending, your loans are typically for, for 12 to 18 months. So if you're working on a project and it's not completed, what does the owner of the home do at that point? Good question. I mean, usually we will extend the loan as long as they've been paying interest. We will extend. There's, some, there's an extension fee to it. You know, the other option is they just sell it as is or they refinance with another lender, bank or, tra or hard money lender like us. Because I've, <coughs> I've heard in the past that some, some hard money lenders do not want to extend. You guys will do that. We will, yeah. The last thing we really wanted, we don't want to take these properties back. I'm sure there are lenders out there that do, but, you know, our focus is to help the borrower get to the finish line, sell it or refinance it to keep it and then come back to us for their next deal. Yeah. Have you come across any interesting deals recently that you'd like to share? Yeah, we just closed one in Charlestown um, the other day. A similar story, borrowers, hard money lender. It was a 12-month term. It took them 12 months to get through a variance with the city for adding on to the building. <clears throat> um, the extension fees were pretty high, I think, to the tune of $70,000. Wow. You know, for a million-dollar loan at the moment. So we, uh, we refinanced that hard money lender, and now we're giving them 460000 to renovate, complete the renovation. So it's mid-renovation, gutted. There's not much there. Um, and he's going to convert to condos, three condos, right in Charlestown on Bunker Hill. Perfect yeah. example of something taking a little bit more time than yeah. expected. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and it wasn't his fault. I mean, he, he didn't expect the city to take that long. Um, we as a lender in that position probably would have sat it out with him, but you know, each lender has their own parameters, that's fine. Flipping properties is not as easy as it looks. No, it it's not. Scenario. <clears throat> no, I think. It shows that. It's easy on TV, right, on HGTV, but there are a lot of variables to consider. Uh, certainly city approvals, um, cost of materials, cost of labor, those are extremely high right now. Um, a lot of people are walking away from deals because of budgets. So yeah, it's, um, you need to have a good team around you and cross all T's and dot all I's. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Home flipping is definitely not like HGTV. So if you're in the market um, to invest in real estate and you're looking to put together your A team, connect with Brian and his team at mcaplending.com. And remember, we have more tips just like this right here on boston.com.